Well, Lebu Diseko is the presenter of the BBC World programme Focus on Africa. Um, is this a big moment for the ANC, a oh, turning yeah, point? Yeah, certainly is. Look, I think we heard there uh, Jackson Tembu saying that even in the ANC's disunity, even when he was trying to defend the ANC, he has to admit that it's pretty disunited. And I think the difference this time, there have been several attempts to try and bring a, a vote of no confidence against the uh, president. This time, it was really like he was uh, facing a battle from within, you know. Uh, with the uh, majority that the ANC holds, uh, for this uh, uh, vote to pass, for, for uh, President Zuma to hang on with just such a small yeah, majority is, is something. quite yeah. uh, something. But, I mean, he said, oh, look, it's just innuendo. We need to investigate all these charges. He was quite conceding that public anger needs to be, you know, responded to. Is it just innuendo or, or is it more than that? Well, I think we do need to be careful because there are uh, charges that were dropped that have been brought back that still haven't really been proved. Uh, you spoke a bit about the uh, allegations around his house uh, in Ngandla. Mm. Um, the uh, public protector said that he should pay back some of the money, not all of the money. But I think the really big thing, the thing that has kind of forced this vote or, or led to this uh, uh, vote being brought is the allegations around his relationship with this uh, wealthy family and basically the allegation that a family from a different country has come to South Africa, spent loads of money on the presidential family and essentially are now influencing um, government policy and, and basically influencing the way the country is run. That's why you hear that phrase state capture again and again. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Libby. Thanks very much.